Well, you know what they say. When you start winning, the haters start calling. And, and that's kind of what's been going on this last uh, few days or so since the Lions won the NFC North Championship for the first time ever in the NFC North's history. And then you heard from Larry Fitzgerald. And you also heard from Aaron Rodgers on Tuesday on the Pat McAfee Show. So I want to discuss it a little bit because it doesn't make any sense that Larry says what he says, calling the Lions frauds. Uh, same old Lions. And, and let's, let's discuss, Larry, what you've actually done in your career. And then let's talk a little bit about the NFL and kind of what's going on this season. Because clearly, you haven't checked the tape, my man. You haven't checked the stats either. So, Larry, let's talk about you first. Larry went to the playoffs four times. He has a 5-4 and four record in the playoffs with zero Super Bowls. Yet, he finished with a losing record with the Cardinals, 125-136-2 and two during his career. So I don't know what he really has, you know, to stand on and shout at other teams and other players. And, you know, like, what did you do? Yes, you were one of the most phenomenal receivers in the league. And that's about it. I mean, you, you did some incredible things as a receiver. You really did. Maybe you're jealous that Calvin Johnson was better. I don't know. He retired early. Could have shattered anything and everything that you ever did, without a doubt. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the fact that the Cardinals have only won five division titles in the 124-year existence of the Cardinals. Three times when Larry Fitzgerald was with the team. 2008, 2009, 2015. So if you want to sit here and say it's hard to get excited about the Lions winning the NFC North and that you think that we're still the same old Lions and calling us frauds, I got news for you, man. We're the brand new Detroit Lions. And yes, it's been a rough 30 years, maybe 50. But that doesn't mean that this team hasn't done some incredible things this season or last season. It doesn't mean that this team isn't different or changed. You just can't see it. And I don't really give a shit if you do or if you don't. Honestly, you probably haven't even checked the roster and what this team has done in its third season since a complete gut job of the front office the roster, all the way down to the concessions, my man. This team has is, is made complete transformation of everything. He's also probably not noticed or seen that this Lions team, the, you know, the brand new Detroit Lions team, used to lose some of the games that we are now winning. That was the same old Lions. This is the brand new Detroit Lions. And I hope to God that we go in and kick the snot out of the Cowboys this Saturday just to prove that point even further. But even if we lose this game, that still doesn't detract from what this team has done. You've got four players on the offense breaking 1,000 AP, 1,000 yards AP this season. Four. Has a Cardinals team ever done that? Or was it just all Larry? Ball hog Larry. Throw me the ball Larry. Only give me the ball Larry. Look, the Lions don't control their schedule. And, and, and as everything goes in life, hindsight is always 2020, isn't it, Larry? Just because the Chiefs checked out and haven't turned into the team that they were supposed to be this season, doesn't detract again from what the Lions did. Marching into the Chiefs' kingdom, opening day of the NFL season, Thursday night football, and got a win. I don't care that it was 21-20. to 20, but The Lions only won by one point. Because in this game, as you well know, Larry, one point is all you need to win. As long as it's one more point than your opponent. So you want to call us frauds. Larry, get real, dude. The only fraud is the haters. Because you're not recognizing that the season has changed. The Lions are different. And they've proven it since about week eight of last season. They've gone on a complete tear. They've won, what, 20 out of the last 32 games? That's pretty darn good. So 20 and 12 over the last 32, which used to be two complete seasons. Pretty darn good if you ask me, Larry. But let me ask you a question. What's so different about the Lions' losses and the rest of the NFL's losses, or at least to the teams that are vying for the top seeds. Let's take a look, shall we? The 49ers lost three in a row, frauds. The Ravens lost to Pittsburgh and the Colts, frauds. The Chiefs have lost six games, frauds. The Cowboys have lost to the Cardinals, definitely frauds. Got waxed by the 49ers, lost to the Eagles, waxed by the Bills, and just lost to the Dolphins. Cowboys are probably the biggest frauds of all, any team in the NFL. And then the Eagles lost to the Jets. I mean, come on, the Jets, waxed by the 49ers, lost to the Seahawks and the Cowboys, and almost lost to the Commanders 
twice. And the Chiefs. So who are the frauds, Larry? The Lions have four losses, not six. They definitely didn't get beat by the Cardinals of all teams. Now, look, I get it. One loss by the Ravens was a bad loss. It was a terrible loss. But did you also take into account, now, no excuses, because any given Sunday is any given Sunday in the NFL. But the Lions had like seven major injuries entering the game versus the Ravens. Now, again, no excuses, right? Next man up. That's what we preach. That's what Dan Campbell's all about. But we got our butts kicked. It happens. It's expected. But we rebounded. We've never lost more than two games in a row. This team fights. They fight back. They don't stay down after they get beat. They get up. They fight harder. That's a fraud? Yeah, I don't think so. I think a fraud gets beat and continues to get beat three times in a row. I think a fraud wins the Super Bowl and then loses more than six games the next season. Because they had a lot of help the season before. If you don't remember how the refs intervened in a lot of those games. So again, look, the Lions, they've won 20 uh, out of the last 32 dating back to the 2022 season. They've gone 19 and six in the last 25 games played. They have four offensive players cashing in on over a thousand yards all purpose this season. They have a rookie in Sam Laporta who's cracking records every single week now. They have a receiver in Amon Ross St. Brown who is so consistent that through 14 games this year compared to his last year's numbers had an identical catch rate percentage on identical targets and identical receptions. Doesn't seem like a fraud to me, buddy. Oh, and then we've got a rookie, Jameer Gibbs, who just busted a thousand yards, right? All purpose on the ground. He'll get it. David Montgomery, same thing. He'll get it. Get real, Larry. Oh, and, and I'm sorry, our defense. Yeah, I know they've been terrible for a while, but in the last few games, Snatched up what? Six interceptions? A few, a few fumbles? Handful of sacks? Turn in the corner at the right time in December, aren't we, Larry? Then there was Aaron Rodgers. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Karen Rodgers. You know, I was surprised that he actually had more praise for the Lions. A little bit more respect for the Lions and what they're doing. Coming from owning the NFC North like he did for all of those years. Um, I was surprised to say the least. So let's, let's check back in on, on Aaron Rodgers and what he said. And in it, you know, he basically was just pissed off that the green Bay Packers didn't win the North. He still wants his green and gold, you know, to be the leaders of the pack, but that didn't happen. The lions, the brand new lions are now the leader of the NFC North. And yep, they're going to have to prove it all over again next season. And they're going to have to prove everybody wrong yet again. But the last time I checked, Aaron, you threw three interceptions on your way out of the NFC North. And, and that was in a game that you lasted more than two plays before you blew out your old man ACL. And we sent you packing from your own home at Lambeau Field as a loser. Now, look, the difference is this. And, and I had to be, you know, a little bit me just for the fans, but... I'm going to give you your flowers, Aaron Rodgers. And that's, that's because when you were drafted in 2005, you won your first NFC North championship in what, 2007. And then since 2011, you kind of really never look back, man. I mean, you, you won like 15 championships or whatever the number is or 12 or something like that in one Super Bowl. We've always had respect, even though we've hated you dearly because of what you've done to us on the field. You still always had respect because of the player that you are and were. But don't get it twisted, both of you. These brand new Detroit Lions, they're not frauds. And now that you've come out publicly and said these things, that was bad news for your teams, man. Do you honestly think the next time that we play the Cardinals, we're not going to put up 50? Or the next time we play the Jets, we're not going to sack you, Aaron, half a dozen times? You mark my words. I haven't looked at next year's schedule hard enough, but if either of those teams are on it, and if Aaron Rodgers isn't wearing diapers by then, we're coming. And we're already starting to get comfortable. But we're coming. We'll see you next year. Or whenever we see you. The brand new Detroit Lions are for real.